it was actually kind of through Mark Thornburg in a way. Uh, back then, uh, his wife Barb was being the accompanist for Papillion Middle School, and uh, she knew my brother, and she kind of knew me. And they didn't have any young boys audition for the part of Jerome for South Pacific, and they basically said, hey, we know a guy who is young and likes to sing. And so that was my first introduction into even musical theater, and so also my first introduction to Papillion uh, Vista Community Theater. Yeah, I think it, it definitely kind of pushed me towards the idea of just how much I love to perform and how great it is to be around other people that are enjoying it just as much as you, uh, which brought me to uh, show choir and more musical theater, and then going into college, I realized that I wanted to teach more people about that uh, passion that I found through musical theater. And so, yeah, it, it's really nice that it was able to start really early for me. My first entry into musical theater was in South Pacific in 2009 with uh, Papillion La Vista, and then after that, I after that I went to middle school and started show choir and then I kept going with musical theater and show choir in high school. Um, once I graduated I came back to Papillion La Vista. I've been in four other shows since then. So it's it's been a big part of my, my life actually. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, so a lot of the times I was just kind of sitting there and watching because I didn't realize that I had a pretty small part in retrospect and that I probably didn't have to be there the whole time. Uh, but I was just so engrossed in like what was going on on stage because I didn't, I, I never saw like the backstage part of any performance or anything like that. So it was really fun to watch and see kind of how easy it was to talk to people even though I had no idea who they were at that time. And it, uh, just, you know, getting those close bonds with, there were some other kids as well at that time that I got close to, so it, it was a lot of fun. And one, one of the greatest things, uh, <laughs> the first time that I ever started uh, performing, I was Mark Thornburg's son, you know. Then the next time that I come back to Pillion Vista at Sumter, I am in Joseph, and I am Mark Thornburg's son. It was a great kind of 180 into that. Every time that you perform with Sumter, they give you one of these, and it's it's one of those things that you can actually keep as memento and uh, keep around and kind of just remind yourself of how much fun it was to be with those people at that time. Uh, so yeah, I've got uh, Joseph, Guys and Dolls, uh, Hairspray, and then lastly Into the Woods from last year, which was you know awesome. I think one of the greatest times, it always comes back to that first time that I was in a show. So going back to South Pacific, um, being able to, having to trust somebody else for the first time in one of those productions, I had to run towards Mark and literally just jump, like feet in the air, arms in the air, and just trust that he'd catch me each time. And that, it became really fun after like the first few times that I was scared, it became one of the most fun parts of the, the entire show. And I think it's important in two ways, first for the performers and then for the people that are watching. Um, for the performers, it's, it's really cool to see that it's not just people from Papillion that come in. You, you get people from all around Omaha, sometimes from Lincoln, uh, because I think part of it is we have a good reputation, and so people enjoy coming to this large mass of people that really enjoy performing and know that it's going to create a, a wonderful show. Um, and being able to perform with those people, I haven't had a bad experience with any cast yet in the five years that I've done it. Um, you get really close with everyone that you perform with, and I still talk to plenty of them now. So it's, it's really fun to just see that kind of intertwined uh, group of theater kids, basically. Uh, for, the, uh, for the people that are watching, it's just a brand new experience. 
that you don't get anywhere else. Because everywhere else you have a theater, which is amazing, and you have all the sets and flies and things, but for something to be outside and to have to create a show specifically that works for a different kind of set, um, and then being able to watch it, you know, like on the grass, on a beach towel, kind of like you're having a picnic, it, it's a really great experience. And then halfway into the show, it becomes nighttime, and you get a watch from under the stars, as Mark always loves to say, theater under the stars, it's, it's great. I think, well, it's a lot hotter. <laughs> there, there's a lot of things that you have to do, costume-wise and set change-wise, that you have to take that into consideration so that, you know, people don't have a heat stroke. But on the other side of it, there's a lot of things that you have to alter that make the set really cool to play around with uh, because you, you can't create set changes. You always kind of have to have the set there on stage and that's it because there's, there's no way to bring things on and off. So being able to figure out how it's going to work throughout the entire show it, it always creates a different experience than what you would see a different uh, venue with the same show. You always get a different uh, you always get a different experience with the show that you're watching. It's a once in a lifetime experience every time that you get to go, which it, it kind of contradicts because you can go many times. But every single time that you go, it's a new experience that you'll never get to see again. Uh, it won't ever be duplicated in another uh, venue. And so I think not only for the uh, people watching, for the people that are performing, it's, it's something that they don't ever get to experience either, being kind of put to their limits almost uh, in the heat and having to uh, figure out how to work with people that they might not know as well because the community is so large, you get to meet so many people and that in itself is a great reason to keep it going so you get to meet so many people. It has probably been one of the bigger portions of like helping me figure out how to create different personas on stage. Um, being able to be in the background of these amazing huge, and I mean huge because Sumter is so large, and uh, these huge areas and having to express yourself to a point where the people in the very back part of these grass uh, fields are able to watch you and enjoy seeing what you're doing on stage. It, it really bolstered my ability to uh, be bigger on stage and, uh, and singing even bigger and everything. Yeah, it, it was the first experience that I ever had on stage and it just kept adding to my performances every time that I was able to go back. There have been, within the last four years of uh, performing with Sumter, I have kept in contact with probably over half the cast for each show, which adds up to a lot of people. and. Some of those I can consider my best friends at this point. Like I still talk to five or six of them every other day to kind of figure out what they're doing, how they're doing, uh, where they are in life. So it, it, you definitely get really close to those people. And uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing like a performance theater friend and being that close in a performance stage. Uh, to build a lifelong friendship.